this mic, nostressmic.com. Um, I'm here in, uh, you know, I'm living in a ghost city right now. They just opened it up, and uh, I think for about five years they've had it opened up. Now, I'm still learning how this system works. So I, I just, I talk about the little bits I can think of and figure out. And uh, right now, I wanted to show you, they kind of opened this up a little bit. Here, I'm living in that second building. The second building up there. That's where I live. Up there, yeah. And uh, on the seventh floor. And uh, it's... Uh, there's not hardly anybody that lives in, in the building that I'm in. There's nobody living in this building right here. And matter of fact, I'm looking to have one office is uh, taken out. But the thing is, there. This is a holiday. It's like Memorial Day, and uh, construction runs not 24 hours, but it does run seven days a week. And you can see uh, they're, they're they're working hard. There's there's no problem on the working. Uh, uh, and you see the building that you know, it's, it's, everything is ready to uh, uh, to do business. But like I say nothing's going on yet. Um, uh, I yesterday uh, and the day before both, I was I went to a, a, a smaller city. This is uh, uh, four and a half million that live here in uh, Chongqing, Chung, Chunming, Kungming, uh, K U N M I N G, and uh, so. Uh, uh, this place that I went was 450,000 and uh, uh, I really like it out here but when I was there uh, that other city I met somebody and uh, uh, I, I'm not I don't even know what that's a story I'll talk about later on on how I met him and, uh, but anyway uh, I use all the tactics, all the mannerisms, all the stuff that I talk about in the videos. That's what I use. Uh, so you're just going to have to figure out how I, how I meet these people. But anyway, this guy ends up, uh, we we're talking and uh, 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 first he had a fancy car, a real fancy and uh, as I was, we we're talking about his car, how his car was and, and stuff like that. And it looks like the way I understand, the best I could figure, well, he had a, a, he had a Range Ro Rover and uh, the, the SUV kind of thing, big one. And uh, uh, he paid uh, 2 million yen for that. And uh, that come out, to I, I believe about uh, I think it was two two or maybe three hundred thousand dollars he paid for that car and uh, so that of course that led to you know what do you do for a living when you can make that kind of money it ends up he builds these buildings this is what he's he's a, a contractor the way I understand he builds these and then so then uh, I was asking him, okay, uh, where does the money come from? This is something that's been driving me crazy uh, because you, you have these ghost cities all over, these buildings like this that are sitting. And if you and I put up the money to put one of these buildings up, we're not going to have it sitting there empty. So I couldn't figure out how this is working. I took it for granted that the government funded these buildings and uh, they build these this is my 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 thoughts and but i say i have no idea but my thought is uh it used to be the government builds these cluster of uh buildings now yes there you, know, you can see them over there there's, there's a cluster there 
see them. There's more over there. Uh, there's some over there. They're all around us. They're huge. Uh, we ought to be able to hold them. Oh, I don't know. I mean, there's just massive people. So I'd say maybe a half a million or a million people can fit in one of these clusters. And uh, some are open and some aren't. And uh, like I say, they've got them ready for businesses. Businesses are ready to move in. I mean, a setup for a business can come in. Restaurants, uh, they've got uh, uh, all the stuff set up. Like I say, in this particular place, they even had a university put up there now. A brand new university put up. So, uh, uh, so I was asking, okay, where does the money come from on this stuff? Now, uh, uh, we're just talking about his particular situation, okay? So I, was, I still may be right by saying it's government funded. I may be right on that, but I don't know. Uh, but in his particular situation, what he was telling me was he puts up the money for these buildings. And uh, it'll be, he will have to put up money and he uh, makes loans through the banks. But we talk about the banking. So that, when, when, that, when he told me that, I about, my brain just came unglued. Because they're going to have uh, they're going to have the same problems, the the real estate bubble. They're going to have the same thing here. The banks are promoting this stuff. There it is, you know, they're giving him money to do this stuff. What he does is he will build the building like this. He builds them, and then he'll have this whole building, and then he will sell the apartments. Now. I also know, uh, because I know some people that have done this, what they do in the United States, we have like an urban renewal. We come in, we buy these people out, and we throw them out of their homes. Here they don't do that. Uh, what they do is they will offer to buy your home, or they will offer you another home, apartment is what this would be. Uh, in uh, another area. Now this other area, when you get this apartment in this other area, you will have a job. So in other words, you can keep your apartment here in this place, but they're, they're gonna get rid of this apartment and this housing area. So what's gonna happen is slowly, everybody's gonna be moving out of that area. The businesses will be closing, you will have nothing in this area. You'll be living in there by yourself. So, um, and you won't have no stores to shop. You won't have nothing. So it is to your advantage to either take the money and go buy an apartment in another place or, um, like I say, trade. Because they will trade you. They will trade you for uh, another apartment. And, uh, like I say, They've got this area that they will trade you, and so <coughs> you'll move into this area, and uh, you'll whatever kind of work you do, there will be work there for you. So it is to your advantage to move. <coughs> this is how they're able to uh, uh, bring up the the living standards for the people. So, and they are, these, uh, because like I say, I went to the villages, I've gone down to the village, so I know what it is. And in the cities, you know, they always have the slummy areas in the cities. They are eliminating these slummy areas by doing what I just talked about. Okay, and um, so as, uh, so what it is, uh, I don't know how long it's going to take them to fill up uh, this particular ghost city, but um, I'll tell you, it is nice. When, like I say, I, I would guess we're probably doing maybe 15 or 20 percent. Uh, this gal that I showed their apartment, uh, let's see, I think I think she's over there in one of those one of those buildings over there. I think. And uh, uh, she said they're running about 15% over there. So uh, 
what they're doing is they're gradually moving the people out of the the worn out uh, nasty towns uh, the cities the nasty part get them out and then what they'll do is level them and then either rebuild them or just like I say level them and, and uh, this is uh, and I talked about they're growing uh, flowers flowers is uh, most of the well the flowers they grow here they send all over China so uh, the flower business is a big thing here but I don't know I say I'm still trying to figure all this stuff out uh, uh, I noticed now this is uh, the fourth this is April 4th. Yeah, it's April 4th, 2017, and uh, I noticed here in the last couple days there have been more police have been showing up here. We don't normally, I, I only saw one cop here for a long time, and now I'm starting to see more and more. Uh, but I don't know if there's more people moving in. Uh, people don't have much. Uh, when you're living in an apartment, you got to remember this city life is new to me. I don't know. So uh, it's, I guess you don't have that much stuff. So they can move pretty quick, move into a place. I mean, I moved from one city to the other city, so. But, uh, uh, you know, it's just, I'm still fun trying to figure this stuff out. But, it's, but it is cool. And, uh, uh, but it only works when the population is suitable for Uh, but you, when you're going down the street, there'll be people on the side of the street with, uh, you know, papers and stuff like that. And what they're doing is they're selling real estate. They're selling apartments over here. So there's big fortunes being made in real estate. And uh, so that's why there's going to be a lot of people getting rich really quick. But um, it's something they need to be concerned about. They, you know, hopefully they learn from the United States bubble but I don't think they did because the United States didn't even learn. We're going through the same thing right now. It's getting ready to go again. And uh, eventually this stuff gets where there's no there's no uh, no fallback on it I guess. Well, like I say this is my building and you see the uh, one cool thing is they wanted that wall out. They wanted those cars out. They called the policeman in here and the policeman looked at the VIN numbers and started making phone calls and people started coming out and uh, moving their cars. So I would say um, owning a vehicle, they, they're really real strict on that. I already, I already told you, I did, um, uh, what did you I did, uh, I did, uh, I forgot what I was going to say now. I'm destroying the place. Anyway, I'm going to have to make that another video. Anyway, this is Mike, no stress Mike.com.